It's the final day of OpenAI's 12 days of shipments, a week and a half of launches and demos that have kind of largely disappointed. But the final announcement a few moments ago, well, maybe that's the biggie. Kate Rooney has the verdict in today's Tech Check. Kate? Hey there, Kelly. Yeah, so OpenAI with a splashy announcement to close out what they're calling shipments. It's next frontier model. They're calling it O3, jumping from O1. This is what's known as a reasoning model, meaning it stops, it thinks, and then it fact checks itself. Here's what CEO Sam Altman just said about it. O3 is a very, very smart model. Uh, O3 mini is an incredibly smart model, but still, uh, but a really good at performance and cost. So to get the bad news out of the way first, we're not going to publicly launch these today. Um, the good news is we're going to make them available for public safety testing starting today. The OpenAI team on that live stream saying this can solve math equations that would take a PhD mathematician hours or even days. It is a step function improvement the tech industry was waiting for. Before today, over the last 12 business days, OpenAI rolled out another model that turns text into video known as Sora. That was the showstopper, but there were a lot of gimmicks in there, too. You had one 800 chat GPT, you had Santa mode, and this product blitz caused some eye rolling, I would say, in Silicon Valley. I did hear a lot of gripes privately. Many shared those on social media. The reactions underline how hard it is right now to shock the world after what's been a banner year so far in AI. Competition still fierce out there, and it might be one reason OpenAI has been so aggressive on marketing these updates even before this new model, for example, is live. That ended up being on display in recent weeks. Google stole the limelight, recently launching its Gemini 2.0, which was greeted with a lot more fanfare, I would say, than shipments, Kelly. A hundred percent. They stole Christmas. That, uh, they it stole was the <laughs> Gemini that stole Christmas. That's, no, the I Gemini that. stole shipments. Yes. Yeah. Stole shipments. Yeah. yeah. Gemini's kind of like the Grinch. I know. That's a good analogy. Do you? But yeah, they, they really, it was in the middle of all these announcements, and they kind of casually came out with this 2.0, which really did wow people without half the, the marketing. It was sort of, you also had Elon Musk sort of tweeting and replying about it, almost endorsing it. And uh, it was interesting to see, but a lot of positive feedback yeah. on what Google's doing. We're paying 20 bucks a month for it.